Hi guys, Kinsey here with todie4daily.com and today I wanted to share with you a really unique challenge that I stumbled upon by Cherry Wood Fabrics. It's a Princess Diana quilt challenge. Anybody can participate. You buy their Princess Diana quilt bundle. These are hand dyed fabrics. Everybody gets the same, you know, everybody gets the same material and they want to see what you can create with these specific items. What a unique concept. It says, what can you create with limited color? Cherrywood hand dyed fabrics challenged artists to create unique pieces of art with a limited color palette, giving them simple rules. We encourage them to push themselves creatively to design an original quilt, taking inspiration from the beautiful Princess Diana. So here are the rules that people had to abide by. The quilt must measure 20 by 20. Use the designed pink and white for the majority of the design. Quilt must be an original design. Any embellishments may be used, which I love. You actually see some of these embellishments in there. Are, there are, there's like glitter and sparkle. So that's really interesting to see. Um, and any technique could be used. They describe Princess Diana on their website. It says, Diana Frances Spencer was the wife of the heir apparent to the British throne, mother of royalty, but her star truly shone when she demonstrated she was a caring, honest person with an open heart, just like us. When she died, it was as if a friend had passed, a friend we'd never met, but had known to the core. Her life's milestones paralleled our own and her passage was a personal loss. That's beautiful and completely true. So far, Cherry Wood Fabrics has had 316 entries. The number of finalists on tour is currently 199. I just wanna go over some of these designs with you. A lot of pop art, which is fun and surprising. You can see in this photo right here, we're looking at Princess Diana in her, it looks like ski shades, which I absolutely adore. Diana on the cover of Newsweek. This is towards the end of her life. You can tell by her haircut there. I mean, obviously I have favorites here. This beautiful pop art one reminds me of Andy Warhol. You know, some of them don't even feature her face, but they still are in a style and fashion that remind you of Diana. I don't know if that's maybe specifically because they're 80s or 90s themed or what. I love that some of the designs try to incorporate Diana's charity efforts. Some of the, you know, the iconic photos. We remember Princess Diana with children or, you know, walking through the field when she was fighting landmines. We remember some of Diana's most f famous charitable moments visually and some of these quilts have recreated those pictures which i think is brilliant and beautiful i think that these pinks especially remind me of princess diana we know pink was one of her favorite colors but beautiful beautiful pinks used throughout these quilts another warhol-esque with the union jack flag i absolutely i mean i would have to say that's probably my favorite one at this point you know you will see several quilts that feature Diana holding hands with people or shaking hands with people. And I think that that is a way for the artist to reflect Diana's common touch, Diana's, you know, down to earth spirit. And um, it also might reflect the fact that she was willing to shake hands with AIDS patients without her gloves on. Several of these artists also remember Princess Diana with Mother Teresa. I think that that is, what a great way to remember Princess Diana. Two women that were completely selfless in their efforts to, you know, bring awareness to people that were suffering. Some more pop art. I just cannot get enough of it. This one's really cute. This one has her quote about, I lead from the heart, not from the head. And then it looks like there's also Tony Blair. And it says, Diana, the people's princess. This is either my first or my second favorite. I can't decide. 
a beautiful quilt that features Princess Diana, baby Prince William, and Prince Harry. How can you not adore that? A fun one. I love, I love this quilt here in the center. It is the famous sheep sweater. How adorable is that? A lot of embellishments here that I just cannot get enough of. I think I favor the ones with a little bit of shine. So these are currently on display here in California uh, at the Road to California Quilting Conference. Coming up, they're going to be in Phoenix, Arizona, where I'm from. That's going to be February 16th through the 20th. February 23rd through the 26th, they're going to be in Florida at Daytona Beach at Quilt AQS Quilt Week. So if you'd like to see the Cherry Wood Princess Diana Quilt Challenge for yourself in person, there's plenty of opportunity to do so. Uh, you can get more information on todiefordaily.com. I'm gonna pack it full of information and um, there, it looks like the bundle is still available for sale if you would like to participate in the challenge as well. Thanks so much for watching. Go ahead and click that subscribe button already if you haven't. I'm Kinsey Schofield reporting for todiefordaily.com. I'm Kinsey Schofield. Thanks so much for watching.